Hello my friends, it's APS Russia and as you can see we're going to do some science today. So I've got the G2 RIP ammo in 9mm. So this is a self-defense ammunition. It's a 96 grain solid copper projectile and the idea is that it's going to release all of its energy into the target, not going to pass through and it creates lots of wound channels. You'll be able to see from the close-up what these rounds look like. They look really scary. We've got some ballistic gel here and I've got our uh, Chris Sphinx here. So this is made by Chris, the same company that makes the Chris uh, Super V. We're going to take this, we're going to take this, we're going to see what it does to this ballistics gel here. Okay, so we're going to fire around into the ballistics gel and see just how much penetration we get and also how, those, uh, how each segment of the round separates and makes its own wound channel. So that looked pretty good. Let's go down there and see how it worked out. All right, so that's pretty damn impressive, I've got to admit. This is 16 inches of uh, ballistics gel. This simulates human flesh. You can see the center part of the round penetrated the entire block and just kept on going. And then in this area, there's a four and a half inch channel wound all the way around in three dimensions, a circle here of just copper going in every direction. That's a pretty nasty round. I was a bit skeptical to begin with, but I think I'm kind of sold now. This is a very deadly self-defense round. Okay, so you've seen what this ammunition can do to ballistics gel. Let's see what it'll do to a few chickens. Let's head down there and see what we did. Okay, so that actually went much better than I thought it would, so... We went through this chicken. Through this chicken. into this chicken, back out this side, then into this little baby chicken. And if you look very closely right here, that's the, uh, that's the back of the projectile. So I think in the slow motion you can actually see this punch through. So all of those, uh, all of those tiny pieces of the round expanded, made different wound uh, channels every direction, but the base of the bullet kept going, penetrated through this many, four chickens, this much chicken, so I'm actually pretty impressed by that. Let me show you one more thing. Okay, so one last thing. Everyone knows that this ammunition comes in 9mm, but they've recently came out with 380 automatic. They sent me the first batch. We're gonna see what our little tiny baby LCP can do with this RIP ammunition. absolute devastation coming out of this tiny little pistol. I'm not sure about self-defense ammunition. It's one of those things that people go back and forth on, but I think this ammunition has definitely proven that it works, it cycles, and the results are pretty impressive. So you be the judge, but if you want to learn some more about the ammo, find their website. There's a link down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, have a nice day.